Hello, my name's Alan Carr and I'm playing seagull number one in the new Spongebob movie. Well, I was excited about it because I do like Spongebob. And um, they said, do you want to be the voice of a seagull? Well, when you get asked if you want to be the voice of a seagull, you think, is that an insult or a compliment? I don't know, because um, whether my voice is a bit too squawky. And it, but I thought, well, hey, it's a movie. Do you know what I mean? Hollywood might become calling. You know, Martin Scorsese might go, hey, I like this seagull. Who is he? And then get me him, it's Alan Carr. So you never know. But yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's, fun. it's a laugh, isn't it? It's something different, isn't it? And it's seagull number one. So if it was seagull number two or seagull number 13, I probably would have said no. Or like second seagull from the left in the bar scene. But no, because it's number one. I said, yeah, I'll do it. Antonio Banderas of course, which I love from Evita, so, uh, so I've just been telling people I'm doing a film with him. A rom-com. <laughs> I haven't told him it's like a part animation and I'm a seagull, I've just said I'm working with him. Burger Beard. Yeah, Burger Beard, yeah, and he does a wonderful job, can I just say. Yes. He's like a handsome Captain Birdseye. Isn't he? Well, I really agree with that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they were nice. Um, yeah, Casper, he was the one from South Africa, weren't it? And then Joe, Joe actually got a name for his seagull, which put my nose out of joint. I was straight on the phone to my agent, because he's not even remotely famous. I've done things before. Um, I did an audio book once, which just took forever. And it, 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 you do have to focus on it. So I knew sort of what was uh, to expect. But I, I, when I read the script, I didn't realise that last bit was a rap. So that was really out of my comfort zone. But it was just when she got the da 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 it was fine. Well, I don't know why I haven't done um, voice work before, because I've got a distinctive voice. can be annoying and irritating, but it's distinctive. So, um, yeah, why not? What about that Tesco one? Every little helps. People do that. No one rings me for that. Matt Berry, who's toast. Yeah, and uh, I've only worked with him once before for an Amnesty International uh, secret policeman's ball. So that's the only time. So that was nice when I heard the voice. I was like, oh, it's him. Well, live TV is terrifying. But yeah, I mean, you can't say, oh, can you do that again? You know, but then I've never again, then again, I've never been a live uh, seagull on telly. So uh, it's hard to really compare. No, live telly is terrifying. But yeah, yeah th th there's an art to getting it right, isn't it? And it's funny because the more you say a line, the more you get into it more. So, you know, you've got that space to to change and adapt it. So yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Live telly, that's your chance. Boom. Yeah. I am a fan of SpongeBob. I find him witty, charismatic. A little bit camp, but then we all are, aren't we? Um, he reminds me a bit of me, really. Yeah. In what way? Well, the cute little face. <laughs> <laughs> the square face. Um, you know, he's he, he just got, like, a zest for life, isn't he? He's so innocent and naive and everything. And he's sweet. Yeah, I like him, I like him. And also, I mean, I'll say, you know, I've got two, um, I've got loads of god kids and I've got a nephew and a niece. And you sit down and watch these cartoons and you're like being waterboarded watching them because you're like dead behind the eyes. But with him, you can enjoy it on different levels and you do recognise people from the other characters, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, yeah, I do like it. It's different, it's different and it's very, it's charming. And that's, I think, that's why it's so successful. It has got a charm to it that not a lot of cartoons have. Yes, I like that. Keeps you on your toes. There's always something for you to look at and everything, yeah. Because the seagull, it's... Uh, what's that? That's animation at some points, and then it flits in between the two, yeah. Which I found really hard to deal with as a voiceover artiste. <laughs> Do 
12. <laughs> I am excited! I might even dress up as a seagull. Yeah. You won't cut me out, will you? <laughs>